Dragon Masters Rise of the Earth Dragon Chapter 14 Trapped Drake ducked as dirt rained down. He closed his eyes tight. Then the shaking stopped. Drake opened his eyes. All the candles had gone out. He looked behind him in the darkness. Worm, are you all right? Worm looked fine. In fact, he didn't have any dust on him. Everybody else was pretty dirty. Is everyone okay? Drake asked. Anna was on the ground. Bo helped her up. I'm fine, she said. That was scary though. Rory walked over. I'm sorry, he said. I don't know why that weird ball of light made Vulcan freak out. Drake looked around. Thankfully it's gone. We should go back, Bo said nervously. Drake looked past Worm. The tunnel was blocked with rocks and dirt. I don't think we can, Drake said. The way outside is blocked too, Rory said. We're trapped, said Bo. He turned pale. Anna's dragon made a sad sound. It's okay, Capri, Anna said, stroking Capri's snout. Can you give us some light, please? Capri opened her mouth and a beautiful white ball of light came out. The light hung in the air. Vulcan is strong, Rory said. He should be able to push through those rocks. Vulcan was calmer now that the red orb was gone. He pushed at the rock wall, but the rocks didn't budge. Come on, Vulcan, Rory urged him, but Vulcan couldn't break through. Bo spoke up. I could have Shu blast through the rocks with water. Anna frowned. What if it doesn't work? Then the tunnel will fill it with water. Everybody was quiet. They knew Anna was right. They were stuck. Drake looked at Worm. Sorry I got you into this, he whispered. Then Worm's green eyes started to glow. A green light swept from the top of Worm's head to the end of his tail. Drake jumped back. Worm? He felt something warm on his chest. He looked down to see that his dragonstone was glowing too. Anna, Rory, and Bo's mouth dropped open. They stared at Worm and Drake. Worm's green glow filled the tunnel. Drake, it looks like your dragon's going to explode. Rory yelled.